Hi, I'm in my dahlia patch today and as you can see I have some beautiful flowers that I'm going to be showing you hopefully to encourage you to grow some yourself. If you're new to dahlias there are many different ones like so many. Basic ones are the water lily one which is this type. There's pom-poms which I love for flower arranging. There's the dinner plates which are the really big ones. Uh, there are cactus. Those are my least favorite, but there's some beautiful ones too. Just so many that you can grow. I have so many beauties that I want to share with you. So if you want to see a tour of all the flowers growing, I'll show you how they're doing to see if you want to grow some of these flowers yourself. <laughs> Of the dahlias that bloom finally is the Christian honey and this dahlia if you saw um, some of my previous I have an earwig in there but look how stunning this is unfortunately it took forever I have quite a few blooms that are coming but this is kind of sick if you see it has a yellow tint the leaves and I think because we did not get a lot of sun in this area and um, this year was so wet that uh, I think the dahlia got sick usually this dahlia grows really tall and you get tons of blooms on it so I am debating whether I'm going to be saving this tuber or I may order a new tuber if I'm able to get it I may save it and try to order and see if I can do that but the dahlias are still it's just not as tall but it's really pretty still it's this is one of my favorite because it's super round the peach tones are so soft with the yellow center stunning and then when it's opening it looks so pretty the colors it has like a pink center on it i really really love this dahlia it is definitely on my top five now this was a surprise and I got this dahlia locally as a plant. It was already pretty big. This is called the Mom's Special. And it reminds me a little of the Romantic Mix except it's a little flatter. But I am in absolute love with this dahlia. What a stunner. It has more lavender on it on the edges. It's a very soft lavender. But even the little bulbs, look, it has lavender in the center of them so when you cut this way down and take that with you that looks beautiful on flower arrangements and i love that it grows in big clusters look at this is that so pretty there's a cluster there i have another one down here it really flowers this has given me so many flowers here's a lot of, another little bulb that is starting to come out and that color is so pretty so if you cut it for a flower arrangement really pretty but you can see look how many it has so many it's grown all the way to there this definitely is one that i will be growing next year and i may grow a few to add into the garden one of the biggest surprises i had this year is the sunflower, the teddy bear sunflower is already dying. I need, I order a silk bag to cover it because I want to save seeds. But this is so beautiful. I'll put some videos that you can see how it looked when it was on all its glory. And one thing, it grows super tall. This is probably six feet to six and a half feet tall. And it has a super sturdy stem, really thick. It does give you one but I've noticed that there's other ones coming out there's one there one up there I'm sure they won't be as big but when this is open alone it is still so beautiful I really thought it only gave you one flower so I'm, I'm super happy that I have like one two three flowers coming 
even if they're tiny like just another one down here so if it doesn't oh and another one down there so if it doesn't get too cold i'm gonna get a lot of flowers out of this the hyacinth beans have gone crazy and i am hoping i see some things that may be flowers coming out but we're about to get cold again in a week so i may end up getting nothing out of this this year for some reason it never got warm enough to uh, give us any beans and any flower which is unfortunate because he has this purple gorgeous flowers This is a, such a cute little dahlia. I have this on a pot and I'll show you the name, Electro Pink. And I really love this dahlia. If you're looking for texture for a pot or a garden where it gives a lot of flowers, it is slowing down now, but this was completely full of these flowers. And again, I'm not a super fan of cactus, but this cactus is really stunning because the color it varies from like lighter to a little bit darker as it ages and they last a really long time i deadhead them and it just keeps giving flowers i like also on this the leaves are darker really really pretty dahlia i'm definitely gonna grow a few of these next year for different pots and different locations in the garden look at this lace flower this is a chocolate lace if you want to grow something with the dahlias grow some lace flowers and this on bouquets it looks so pretty it looks just like lace so if you're thinking of combining something in your garden go ahead and use uh, lace i have a white here and then this chocolate lace and i will be again it just did not get warm enough to shear but if it does this grows like crazy i you get so much and it may end up coming back next year now my cafe olet died in the freeze last year left in the ground so i bought this cafe olet already grown and it is really small it has not grown very big again that could be weather related so i am going to still save the tubers because the color is really pretty. It has this peachy tone, more of the peach versus the pink. You can see here, look how those peach tones are really stunning with the curls in the center. So, and I kind of like that it's smaller because for flower ranging, it works even better. So yeah, I'm going to save it. Next year it may come as a dinner plate dahlia, but we'll see how it does this is a beautiful dahlia this is otter's thrill i am in love just like that one over there that i told you about with the lavender color the mom special this one is a great scale it hasn't grown huge it's not quite a dinner plate for me but it is supposed to be i believe but you can see my hand is pretty large i think these are perfect size for arrangements it just makes it a lot easier but the color, the color of this dahlia is beautiful. And look how prolific. It has so many, it has not stopped. I've already caught so many and it just keeps going. One of my favorites, and I planted it back here. I don't know why I did that. I'll show you the label. It's called Venti Passion Fruit. This is such a cute little dahlia. If you're looking for a short one for pots or for an edging, this is stunning the colors are really pretty and again it's another one that's super prolific he has given me so many flowers even though it's here in the shade um if i have still a lot of them coming out but i will be definitely saving tons of tubers for pots and any questions on anything that I've shown go ahead and ask me below I try to answer on the comments as soon as I get them
This year I grew a lot of celosia. It's the first year that I really grow a ton of it. This is definitely is super, super tall. I should have put it in the back. I didn't realize it was going to grow this tall and it grows super wide. I'll put the name on the screen. But this is stunning and I think it's stunning mostly because look what happens. Some of these I need to save seeds and I don't know if that's something that happened to this one specifically but I'm getting this gorgeous little blooms in some of it it's not everywhere it's only on a few like this one has it here and I saw some other locations like this right here you can see I think that's so pretty that not all of them get it just a few get that but this celosia I definitely recommend if you have the space it does get really wide but you can cut the perimeter and just prune it and bring it indoors it's dreamland senior this is short love it it gives you a lot of blooms and the other one that I really fell in love with is the yarrow I'll place the name of it you can see it has like a little very soft pink peach hue to it and then it turns into like a white as it gets older and I think both of them are beautiful and it looks really good with the Alpen Glow. The Alpen Glow I have loved. I think the colors are stunning. The scale of the Xenia. That scale is just perfection. Now again I don't know if it's been the weather but it has not grown as big as usually the plant itself. I pinched it. I did everything to it but I can see that it's like growing side shoots so I really think it's been the weather I don't want to blame the Xenia but it's just stayed this is it really small and it is really sensitive to the weather so I've had to cut quite a few branches on it that started rutting so just keep that in mind if you have really wet areas where you're placing this or where you may have a sprinkler just be cautious but I think it's completely worth it really beautiful I will be growing this it starts on that yellow and then it goes a little more yellow into the peach and then goes into that peach tone and then at the end it goes it gives you that very deep sort of look and you can see this is as deep as it gets it goes back into a yellowish peach like an orangey when it starts um, dying off but every stage of the flower is really beautiful one that has been a complete surprise has been hollyhock this is a stunner so I want to move when I take that out this fall I'm going to move that hollyhock to the back area uh, so that way it'll be next to the hibiscus tree but I am so happy that it's blooming it is really beautiful beautiful sunflower this is the teddy bear sunflower that's the second one that's been growing it has two buds already coming out a lot earlier than the other one that you saw and even when it's starting with the petals it kind of looks like the sun rays so pretty but you can see the bolt. there's new flowers coming off on the side this one definitely is not as big as the other one so that's why I want to save the seeds from that one because that one was huge so that is this corner and I want to show you another aster that I grew on the back here here is romantic mix is getting eaten by earwigs like crazy I don't know if you see the little black dots I have an earwig situation back here I've been trying to treat if you have any solutions tell me I've tried the soy sauce I've tried a lot of things but I haven't been able to get it to uh, get it under control like the mom specially has that lavender center but it's more round more compact 
uh, is I this is also one of my favorites really pretty it's different from the mom special the other one is more flat this is a little round just stunner really really beautiful a little more white and the color is mainly on the center versus the edges like the mom special has it on the edges I have another sunflower teddy bear sunflower blooming here but this is the other aster that I thought was beautiful that I thought you should see so this one is more pink I love both colors this pink is stunning I only grew this one pink I don't know why I grew all of them the peach color so I need to look to see what this is I'll put the name on the screen but very pretty and it has a lot of blooms this is cafe con leche this dahlia i have it in my front yard and i've grown it for many years now the stem is so dark it's absolutely stunning in a flower arrangement to see the stems dark with this beautiful soft color this is a pom-pom and you can see the shape is perfection and the color is so soft and elegant it's almost like a vintage feel i thought i'd show you here i have another collection of china asters that are doing so well this is how large they get and here i mixed it with the cashmere looking type petunia it's not the cashmere from fruit winners it's a little smaller but it's really really pretty it has a pink light pink center and these look so pretty with it and then i have some of those lace flowers in here with it and they grow almost like a pom-pom if you would like to know about my favorite dahlias that i've ever grown and must know tips on how to grow them go ahead and watch the next video to learn how to grow your own dahlias i was going to go ahead and harvest and do a flower arrangement on the video but i think it's getting a little too long so if you want to watch that then go ahead and watch the next video next week and i'll do that and show you how i save money on just using whatever vases i have and i try to make them look really nice with a very simple trick but if you liked the video and got some value out of it please subscribe and like and comment to support the channel enjoy your garden i'll see you next time